Hi, welcome to Little Koala Cub for this week. Let's start with our breathing. Big breath in and a big breath out. In through your nose. Out your mouth. And one more. Today I thought we'd try something a little bit different. I thought we'd try breathing in the shape of a triangle. So in this exercise, we inhale for three counts, we hold for two, and then we exhale for three. Let's give it a try. Remember to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Inhale, two, three, hold the breath, two, Exhale, two, three. Try that again. In, two, three. Hold, two. Exhale, two, three. And one more time. Inhale, two, three. Hold the breath, two. Exhale, two, three. This is a great way to really control your breathing if you're feeling really anxious or super nervous. Um, it takes a little bit of practice to hold the breath, um, but it's worth doing for those situations when you really need to control and to stop worrying and to calm down. The story this week is from Relax Kids and it's called stars. So close your eyes, be very still and imagine that you are a tiny star. Now imagine that there is a huge star up in the dark blue sky. This star is very bright. It's the brightest star in the whole sky. Slowly, slowly, you start to drift up towards the bright star. It feels as if you are being lifted. You feel light and free. Up and up you go, further and further into the sky until you are finally sitting next to this radiant shining star. The star is twinkling in the deep blue sky. It's so full of light and looks so brilliant. You feel very comfortable sitting next to it. Just look at the beaming rays coming from the star makes you feel happy. Be very still and just think of the light and then you can shine like the brightest star in the sky. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and I'd like you to draw what that makes you think of. Do you think of lots of stars? Is there a moon? Are you amongst the stars? For this activity, we are going to need some bright colored pencils. We're going to draw some stars, some different types of stars. So choose your pencils. Okay, the first star that we would normally do, I know most kids like to draw, is using two triangles. So let's try that. One triangle this way, and then an upside down triangle that way. Give it another go. Let's. Do three different ones of those. Next, we're going to try a different sort of triangle. We start with a triangle shape, and then a little rocket almost, and then we extend this line here down here. We extend this line here, out here, and then we join it up. Let's try that again. Do your V shape. Do the bottom of or the top of your um, pointed triangle. 
Remember we extend that one out here. We extend this one down here. <coughs> Let's try drawing a bigger one this time. I'm going to draw it slightly different angle. Draw the legs on it. This one we extend here. This one we extend here. And then we draw that one up. So try three of those. Next triangle we're going to try, we're going to start with two lines and then we go straight out. We're going to do a five-pointed star, not a six-pointed star. Then we come in, then these ones come out a little and then they go up in the middle. It's a tricky one to draw, let's try another one. So a little peek at the top, a straight line. Join it in, join it down, and then join them up together. Let's try one more. Do one slightly bigger. Then down a little, and then up to the middle. Great. Then what we can do is we can actually change our stars to look a little bit more interesting. This one I'm going to put just dots around the outsides. This one I'm going to make into a double star by making a line in the middle. And this one we're going to make like the star is moving. Let's decorate, <clears throat> excuse me, let's decorate some of the other other stars. Maybe we can draw just some crosshatch lines, make them go in different directions for that one. Maybe we could just do spots on our stars to make them interesting. Or maybe we could shade them in. You want to use two different colors on your stars to make them look a little bit more interesting. Okay, our last stars we're going to make into shooting stars. So we put a dot here and we join the points. And it looks good if you shade darkest towards the star. as it goes back the dark like we've done in previous lessons with our shading press heavy with the pencil then press a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter still and you'll start to get a 3d effect now what we can do is we can imagine that this line is going to go through to this one so we can draw that so it looks like that is three-dimensional as well. We're going to make this one look like it is 3D. So we draw a line here, a line there. These lines are the same length and they are parallel. Parallel lines. That one's not quite parallel. I'll fix that one up. And this one here. Then you simply go back and join them up with straight lines. And then we have our 3D star, works for all sorts of shapes, this sort of method. Shading in again, dark to light, dark to light. So it's darkest nearest the star that you first drew. 
and then light towards the end. Then we have a fantastic 3D star. And let's try something different for our last star. Let's just try some lines that go into the middle. Okay, so we have lots of different stars that we have practiced. Okay, our second drawing activity today. So get a clean piece of paper. First thing I want you to practice using any color you like is drawing some circles. Now remember when we have a hand on the page, we can draw really nice small circles. Try to make your circles start and finish at the same point. So do a row of small circles. You might change your color if you feel like it. Let's see if we can draw them a bit bigger this time. Okay, so I've been resting my hand on my page. Now I'm going to try something different. I'm going to lift my hand off the page. This time our hand is going to be off the page so only the pencil is going to be touching and we can draw bigger circles so go ahead and try drawing some bigger circles see if you can make sure changing colors see if you can make sure that they finish where they start circles finishing where they start let's get some rainbow colors happening try and start and finish at the same spot. Great way of practicing our circles. <coughs> Ready for our next activity. For this activity, I'm going to start with a blue pencil and I'm going to draw myself with my hand off the page. I'm going to draw a big circle. Draw your circle. Step. I'm going to use green for the next step. <clears throat> We're going to draw a mountain that comes here and a mountain that goes there. Let's try a mountain in between, a mountain or a hill. We might make them into mountains in a moment. Another one at the back, seeing how they're overlapping. So you can't see the whole of each mountain because they're overlapping. We've got some in front and some at the back. You might draw on your snowy mountain tops. And then in the sky, we're going to draw a moon. And we're going to shade it in so dark on this side and lighter and lighter see if you can really get that color difference or that tone difference with the way you press down on the pencil okay so there's my moon so let's try drawing some of those stars into our picture Start with a simple triangle star. I'm going to do dots on my one. Let's try one of our rocket looking type stars. So extend that one there, extend that one there.
my next star, I'm going to have a shooting star. So let's try my five pointed straight lines out. Then we come back in. Then we go down. Back in. And I'm going to draw a blue trail on my star. So let's. Okay, so that's my shooting star. And let's do one more star. Let's do one of our 3D stars. So we need to start with our peak, our lines across, our lines in, our lines down, and then back in. Okay, now our parallel lines. Parallel. I'm getting the same length, some of mine are a little bit longer, and then draw your lines to match. Okay, and a bit of shading always looks nice on these ones. Just a little bit to make it look 3D. And because I like to have an odd number, let's try doing another little do another little triangle, simple triangle star over this side. This time it's going to be shining bright. Okay, with our blue pencil, what I'd like you to do is turn it sideways. We are going to be reasonably dark just on that edge. We are shading with the side of the pencil. It's not colouring in, we are shading. So it doesn't need to look all smooth. And if you use the side of the pencil, or if you've got some crayons, you can do it with some crayons. But you don't need to colour it in. Remember, we are just shading. We're not going to shade the whole thing. We're just going to shade sort of half of it. Okay, so that's my sky finished. So let's go on with trying to do, finishing our hills or mountain tops. So we're going to do some patterns on those. So let me start. I'm going to start with a brown, brown pencil on this one, and this one's just going to have some stripes on it. this mountain I'm going to do some curved lines so think about our lines lesson we did before and see what sort of shapes you can come up with you might like to do something different you don't have to do the same as my lines okay on my next one I think I'm going to use a pinky sort of color I'm going to do some hatching. Don't forget you can always turn your piece of paper around if that makes it easy and I'm going to follow the shape of my snow on the top of my mountain. I'm going to go for a nice bright colour next. I might go for my orange this time I'm just going to do my imaginary land I've got it's like orange grass on my mountain I might like to give your imaginary land a name later okay my last mountain I can see I've got a greeny sort of color I'm going to start by doing some bands of green and I'm going to draw some circles inside those bands. And choosing another colour. I 
I might do some wavy lines. And there we have it. We've got our imaginary landscape with our beautiful stars. Don't forget, if you finish off your picture and you'd like to put it on our website, just get mum to send me a picture of it and I can put it on our gallery page. And I will see you next week. Bye.